Hi, here we are in the kitchen, obviously. We are going to make today some bone soup. So I'm gonna use bone, so I only ordered three because they sell you a package with a bunch of them. I don't need that many. So I, I said, can I please have three bones? And they obviously did it. And besides the red bones, I'm gonna be adding chicken neck, uh, chicken necks. So I probably add half of this. With this amazing bone soup, I'm gonna add green onions. And I, do, I make sure that my, when I go to the market, I get everything nice and fresh that looks great. Why? Because this is gonna be a part of my body. This is gonna be my nutrition. And I got celery, and look at how beautiful. Beautiful, nice and fresh. And of course, cilantro. So if you, if you don't like cilantro, you don't have to use cilantro. So you can add anything you want. So if this is the beautiful thing with bone soup. You can add anything that you prefer. So I like cilantro, green onions, gorgeous. And it smells fantastic. The smell is nice and fresh. Of course, I always, always cook with onions and garlic. You know that this is medicine. The benefit of garlic and onions in your nutrition is fabulous. Now I'm gonna add also a little bit of carrot and a, a potato, a white potato. You can add any white potato, I mean any potato. You can do uh, sweet potato, whatever you like. So this is, I like this because then it makes a little bit thicker, okay? So of course a little bit of pepper, salt. We're missing the salt here. So we got the salt. So we have the salt, the pepper, and also you can add, I, use, so I like this kind of condiment, add the seasoning, this is your seasoning that you like. So, and this is why is, this is good. Your bone soup is gonna help you to produce your own collagen. You, if you add a good nutrition, such as bone soup, and also in addition, your exercises, that you exercise your joints, your articulate, your joints, your tendons, so you start keeping your flexibility. What happens, the joints get the movement and you produce, you make, you send energy, you send more blood, and that is that they start working and producing their own collagen. Also, vitamin C, which will be in with your lemon or uh, your, your fruit, and your vitamin D. So you have bone soup. You have your exercises, making sure, sure that you do stretching exercises. That is gonna help you to put, or help your body with your help to, to produce collagen most of the time we want the pill we don't want to take the time to do the cooking to produce to use your kitchen as your pharmacy to make sure that first you get the good nutrition first that you stimulate your physical body to produce things that it can do it can produce collagen but we have this mentality that i have to take supplements and i have to take the pill First, do it this way. And then in addition to these beautiful things, then you can take any artificial thing that you want. But your body has the best first. So this is what we are going to make today, some chicken bones. And then of course you put everything together and you let it cook for two, three, four hours the time you feel like, I cook by instant. So the time you feel like it's ready to be to be eaten or it's done. And then that way you're making sure that you're adding into your way of life food that are gonna be beneficial for you. So you produce collagen through your exercises, your stretching exercises, your vitamin C. I take my vitamins through my fruits, like a lemon every single day that I drink with my tea and a little bit of sun, vitamin D. If you take a little bit of sun, your body produces vitamin D. Your body, pro your body produces your collagen. So get into action.
action and start working directly, proactively in your life. I said pow, you said wow, pow. So we're gonna make this amazing soup that I will show you later when it's done, maybe in a few days. <laughs> I love you, pow. <laughs>